like I'm laughing when, y you know, whatever I may or may not be known for, Chris Kane, bold, radical faith, which yes, but I was the kid that was left in a hospital, mm -hmm. unnamed and unwanted. I was the kid that was sexually abused for 12 years. I'm the immigrant's daughter. And because I believed this word to be true and applied it and had to overcome so I, I didn't come out of the gate like this. In fact, right. I came full of shame, mm -hmm. full of pain yeah. and heartache. And um, I, by applying God's word and doing exactly what we're telling everyone else to do, mm -hmm. we're saying obedience is right. not a personality type. It's, right. uh, it, yes. it's, it's saying God's yes to it's God. And it doesn't mean you get here. Here I am leading what I'm leading. But, you know, Lisa, you know more than anyone in my life. Just the last couple of years have been some of the biggest challenges in my life. And I got to a place, you know, in 2017 where um, I think the best way to explain it was, I, I, you know, my husband watches <laughs> Navy SEAL documentaries <laughs> like you know whatever and so yeah. there is this uh i had just taken a lot of hits a lot of discouragement um a couple of betrayals i mean just the stuff that happens but when it's compounded mm -hmm. and here i am leading a21 leading propel doing what i right. do and I, I didn't know how to explain initially what had happened to me but there was this sense of beginning to think are you kidding me yeah. really do i want to be on this forefront you know where you can be uh you know in the world in which we live just so misunderstood so misquoted so you know just a whole lot of different things and then um we were watching this navy seal documentary and i saw yeah, the whole goal obviously of hell week it was about hell week mm -hmm. was so here are these people that are elite athletes anyway to even get into hell right. week you've got to be so you're the cream yeah. de la creme anyway of uh the military um so you are strong enough in your natural sense you you know you pretty much should have the capacity to do it but everything in that week is designed to break you down it's just to you know the drill sergeants yelling at you right because if they can break you down there you're not going to break right. down on the front line Absolutely. so there's, there's a reason for it and you know, more than 60% of the people don't make it from, right. from Hell Week into the SEALs. And there was this one thing, you know, they drop the guys out of the helicopter at three in the morning and you've got to swim your way back to shore. And, and I remember saying to Nick, um, after, you know, this whole week of no sleep in watching the SEALs, I said, I think this is how I feel. I said, it's the best way to explain it. It's like I'm sitting in freezing cold water and, you know, say I've been in it for six hours. I know I've got to do it for eight hours. And I know I can do it. I, I know I'm not going to die. I know that, you know, my body mm -hmm. can take this. Um, and I said, but for the first time in my entire Christian life, here I'm running all these global things, here I am running this thing, I don't know if I want to. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know if I want to stay in this water. Mm -hmm. And I just think I might go ring the bell and, and not I go here's the deal most people wouldn't even realize it because I've got enough momentum that it would take people maybe 10 years before they're like there's un Chris? unless you're really discerning <laughs> right, right. where you go there hasn't been any oil on a message of hers for a long time but unless you're discerning <laughs> there's enough gift to right. carry that through yeah, you know whatever right. and I said that thing of just really choosing for whoever it is, whatever it is, in my way it's a public role, but whether it's public or non-public, mm -hmm. it's a daily obedience to Christ. Right. Daily get right. up, pick up your cross Absolutely. and follow him. Right. Crucify your flesh, Absolutely. whatever it might right. mean. It's not like, um, you know, uh, no matter who you are, yesterday you were giving me the example of the guy in the helicopter and the yeah. guy on the front, and you can explain that later, but the deal is that whether people think I'm an Enneagram 8 or I'm a high D or whatever my oh, gift mix is, it, obedience is not right. a love language. It's not an Enneagram number. It's not something on the disc profile. It's right. a death to self every day. That's so right. whether you are me, apparently personality confident, I still had to get to a point in 2017, 2018 where it was, I will keep saying yes to That's you. Right. No, I wasn't going to go That's backslide. Right. I wasn't going right. to go, uh, but I, it was just in my heart, I would have rung the bell. And right. most people would not have known. Mm -hmm. And I would have thought, I'm not going to put myself out there like this. We're not going to keep right. opening A21 offices. It comes with too much persecution or I'm not going to keep growing propel. Yeah. It comes with too much persecution. I'm not going to keep being on TV where people can, you know, the heresy hunters can not like the sentence of what I say for whatever. I'm just going to, it's just, right. I can't make a mistake yeah. and get it right because you just, it, you're going to be pummeled for it. Mm -hmm. And I thought, who needs this? Yeah. Except, which is like Esther, who, who needs this? Like why, someone else can go to the king, you know, yeah. knock yourselves out. Hi everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.